Well, Chattanooga is still reeling from the death of Tyree Nichols with talks of police reform returning locally and nationally. Police Chief Celeste Murphy here in Chattanooga spoke tonight reassuring our community that its police are on their side. News 12's Jordan Simmel was at that meeting. He joins us now live with tonight's top local story. Andrew, good evening. Thank you. The National Panhellenic Council of Chattanooga hosted Chief Murphy as a guest speaker tonight to discuss how Chattanooga police is reshaping its culture and holding its officers more accountable. One thing she made very clear tonight is that her job is to make sure the community feels safe, not threatened. The shocking death of Tyree Nichols due to the actions of several former Memphis police officers was still fresh on the minds of Chattanoogans Monday nights. Something is happening in Memphis. And something is happening in America. Those words prophetically said 55 years ago we now be clear today. Murphy defended those who wear the uniform while answering questions comparing Chattanooga and Memphis police officers. She says her department does not endorse yanking drivers out of their cars during traffic stops and does not have a scorpion unit. When asked about officers involved in pretextual traffic stops, Murphy says local recent events have justified their role. If you've noticed the last couple of weeks, we've had a whole lot of pedestrians hit. So I would rather get in front of risky traffic behaviors to avoid pedestrian fatalities, motor vehicle fatalities. But I definitely, on the other opposite end, don't want to stop people for nothing. Many answers from the police chief to residents' questions stemmed back to her primary mission of keeping Chattanooga safe. She says this means keeping violent offenders off city streets, potentially including members of her own staff. It is brought to my attention about anyone that has uh, a limited view on anyone in this community or acts in any way that adds to the frustration of this community. They will be held accountable. Before Murphy even answered questions tonight, she took a second to thank all Chattanoogans for the way they reacted after witnessing the worst thing that can happen to another human being. She says those who protested did so peacefully, honoring the wishes of Tyree Nichols' parents. Reporting live, Jordan Simmel, News 12.